okay let us discuss about this rms value why this rms value is introduced in the ac, AC? okay so rms value means or it is also called as the effective value rms value is also called as the effective value so rms value of an alternating quantity it is with respect to the ac so rms value with respect to ac is the a steady current that is dc current when flowing through a given resistance for a given time produces the same amount of heat uh, produced by the alternating current when flowing through the same resistance for the same time which means let us consider a resistance let us consider a resistance let uh, if you consider a resistance one second so if you consider a resistance let us consider a resistance a same resistance let us apply uh, with the dc supply for the same resistance and apply with the ac supply okay dc supply is represented by battery symbol ac supply is represented by represented like this it is a sinusoidal voltage so ac means it is alternating so now we have a resistance let us say r resistance r so when a dc current is flowing through this resistance when dc supply is given to this resistance so here for this resistance let us take the current is flowing uh, in the circuit for t time okay let us say the current is flowing in the circuit resistance for t time so for this uh, du duration t duration let us say the amount of heat produced by this resistance amount of heat produced or the power consumed by this resistance power consumed is nothing but in the resistor it is dissipated as heat only so amount of power consumed or amount of heat generated in this resistor let us say h okay let us say h when you apply a dc supply to a resistor when you apply a dc supply to a resistor for t duration it produces uh, this amount of heat h amount of heat or let us say it consumes uh, some amount of power okay it consumes some amount of power let us say the if, if if the resistor is consuming power means it is nothing but it is dissipating the heat it is dissipating the heat so it is producing some amount of heat that let us consider this heat as h or we can take this as power only can take this as power only so let us consider this power only the power consumed by this resistance is p so for the same resistor if you apply the ac voltage if you apply the voltage ac voltage this resistor should consume the same power whatever the power consumed when you apply dc so when you apply ac when you apply ac this resistance should consume the same power in same duration same power in or it should uh, dissipate uh, amount of heat produced should be same in the same duration then whatever the voltage we apply here in the ac whatever the voltage we apply in ac to get the same amount of power to get this same amount of heat produced in the same duration is called as the rms value rms value so whatever the voltage we apply here whatever the voltage we apply here to get the same amount of heat dissipated or heat produced in the same duration as in case of the dc supply so then whatever the voltage we apply here that voltage is called as the rms value rms value we know that the dc is it is direct current the magnitude will be always constant so here power consumed will be a constant right but in case of uh, ac it is alternating it is alternating so the power consumed may not be uh, same uh, the heat dissipated or heat produced by the resistor will not be same so at one point uh, the power consumed or power heat produced by the, the dc and the ac both will be equal that value of ac quantity is called as the rms value that value of ac quantity is called as rms value so this rms value we can call it as a, it is a dc equivalent of the 
alternating quantity it is a dc that, that is direct current equivalent of the alternating quantity so that is the meaning of the rms values so definition is uh, the rms value of an alternating quantity is the is that a steady current which when flowing through a given resistance for a given time produces the same amount of heat produced by the alternating current when flowing through the same resistance for the same time so this rms value is dc equivalent of the alternating quantity so let us say let us derive this rms value what is that value of the ac voltage so what is the what is the value of that ac voltage rms value so rms value as the name indicates it is a root mean square value right root mean square value so there is a root rms value means you can take the rms for voltage you can take the rms for current both will be same rms value for voltage and rms value for current both will be same so let us do it with the help of current i rms so rms will be means it is a root mean mean means it is a base actually mean means it is a base so root mean square value so here in the denominator we have some square value so that uh, that is nothing but the area of the sinusoidal voltage the area of the sinusoidal voltage so irms is given by the formula is square root of area of the squared wave form because it is a root means square value right square so that's why it is area of the squared wave form divided by base so let us calculate the area of the squared wave form area of the squared wave form so initially uh, we have a sinusoidal current right this is a sinusoidal current we have a sinusoidal current sinusoidal current this is the value is i is equal to i m sin theta the current flowing is i m sin theta sin, uh, sinusoidal current so when you square this value this is i so when you multiply uh, when you square this i square will be equal to i m square into sin square theta so i square is equal to i m square into sin square theta so when you multiply this alternating quantity again so here this is a positive of right positive of positive of again you multiply by another positive of you will get the positive of right because it is multiplied this magnitude will be i square i m square this is just i m this is i m square okay so next we have the negative of here okay next we have the negative of now if you multiply the negative of negative into negative is what is negative into negative positive so negative into negative upon squaring again you will get the positive of so upon squaring you will get the positive of so this is a i squared wave for one uh, wave one complete wave i have shown the i squared wave right so in i squared wave all the values will be positives only all the values will be positives only so this value is the im square this value is im square this value is a minus im this value is plus sign but in i i square uh, wave all the values will be peak values will be positive only so area of now we need to consider the area of this squared wave form if you take it only the half wave that is zero to what is this duration what is this duration this point here zero here 90 here it is 180 right here at the end of first cycle it is 360 degree if you represent it in terms of radians what is 180 is in terms of radians 90 is pi by 2 okay 180 is pi 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 okay so the same diagram waveform is shown here in the diagram you can observe here okay we have a sinusoidal voltage initially this is a sinusoidal voltage 
upon squaring we will get the two positive ops upon squaring we will get two positive ops so this is sinusoidal voltage i is equal to im sin theta upon squaring it is i square im square into sin square theta im square into sin square theta so here we want to calculate the area here we want to calculate the area so here we can consider a small strip in the area in the positive wave we can consider the small strip and if you differentiate you will get the total area right if you differentiate you will get the total area so this air, uh, thickness of this small strip let us consider as d theta d theta so area of so let us consider the this elementary strip of thickness d so the area of the squared wave form area of the squared wave form is given by area of the squared wave form is given by so here if you consider only the half wave it is the limit should be 0 to 5 if you consider full wave limit should be 0 to 2 5 then the base here the base should be 2 5 if you consider only half wave here limit should be 0 to 5 base should be only 5 okay remember this you can uh, do this in two ways you can do this in two ways if you consider the limits here from 0 to 5 0 to 5 the base here should be 5 okay if you consider limit from 0 to 2 5 the base here should be 2 5 so let us do it with the uh, full full wave uh, that is area of the squared full uh, wave for full cycle we have considered for full cycle it is 0 to 2 phi into i square into d theta if you differentiate this uh, for small strip you will get the total area so i i square value we know it is i square is equal to im square into sin theta right im square into sin theta if you are asked to uh, derive the equation rms value of equation for voltage means then we need to calculate the uh, take the voltage v is equal to vm sin theta okay we need to draw the same voltage wave wherever we have i you just uh, replace it as v upon squaring this will be v square is equal to vm square sin square theta okay vm square sin square theta here the area of the squared full wave uh, squared wave for full cycle will be v square into d theta that's it okay so upon substituting i square value it is im square into sin square theta i am square into sin square theta so so differentiating this with respect to theta where i am is a constant here so take out i am i am square so if you differentiate the sin square theta sin square theta we cannot directly differentiate so what we do is we write the in terms of cos 2 theta is equal to we have formula what is equation we have sin square theta so if you take out sin square theta equal to sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 so sin in place of sin square theta we have substituted as 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 okay 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 so upon differentiating this function so 1 by 2 you take out it is a constant so integration of 1 is theta right minus integration of cos 2 theta is cos sin 2 theta divided by 2 here differentiation so the constant should be divided in case of differentiation the constant constants you we used to multiply so this is the dif upon differentiating you will get the limits are 0 to 2 pi we need to substitute the limits so upon substituting the limits we get so area of the uh, squared wave form area of the squared wave form so let us substitute and see what you will get so here we have im square divided by 2 so let us substitute the values 0 to 2 5 so the in place of theta we need to substitute the limits so in place of theta it is 2 5 minus 0 will be 0 minus sin 
2 into 2 will be 4 pi divided by 2. So this is the, what is sine 4 pi? What is sine 4 pi? 0. Sine 4 pi is also equal to sine 2 pi. So sine 2 pi value is 0. So this value becomes 0. So you will have only this part. Okay, you will have only this part. 2 2 gets cancelled here. You will have phi into im square. So area of the squared wave, waveform for full cycle is im into, sorry, im square into pi or pi into im square. Now substitute this area of the squared wave in the IRMS equation. IRMS equation. Therefore, IRMS is equal to area of squared wave form is pi into im square divided by base is 2 phi because we are considered it for the full cycle. So, base is 2 phi. So, upon uh, calculating this value, you will get here phi phi gets cancelled. In the numerator, we have im square. So, square and root will be cancelled. You left with only im. In the denominator, we have uh, 2 with root, so it is root 2. So, IRMS is equal to IM divided by root 2. It is IM divided by root 2. So, if you take 1 by root 2 value, it is 0.707. It is 0.707. So, IRMS is equal to 0.707 times of the maximum current IM. So, this is the derivation you have to do if you are asked to derive the root mean square value derivation. With respect to current, this is the same values you need, uh, same equations you need to substitute. If they ask to with respect to voltage, uh, RMS value of the voltage means wherever you have V, I, you need to replace it by voltage. That's it. Okay. At the end, if you do it for voltage, voltage will, it will be VRMS is equal to 0 0.707 VM. VRMS is equal to 0 0.707 times VM. So this is about the RMS value. So now we have found out the RMS value. So here initially we considered two resistors, right? So here if you, the whatever the AC voltage we apply here, whatever the AC voltage we apply here, if it is 0 0.707 times of the maximum value, then uh, the heat dissipated in this resistor will be same as heat dissipated in the this resistor when you apply with the DC supply. So that's why this RMS value is also called as the effective value or it is a DC equivalent of the alternating quantity. DC equivalent of the alternating quantity. So let us move to next one that is average value. So average value is nothing but we all know average value. So average value is nothing but it is a arithmetic when you talk about the arithmetical average when you talk about the arithmetical average let us say if we have some uh, some numbers 1 2 3 4 5 like this. if you want to take out the average of these numbers what you will do you will add all the numbers sum of all the numbers divided by uh, number count right total number counts if you have five numbers you will add all those five numbers and total numbers that is five so that's how we will take the uh, average Right. So here in sinusoidal quantity, the average is taken with respect to the all the instantaneous values. So arithmetical average of all the values of an alternating quantity over one complete cycle is called as its average value. So if you take out all the instantaneous value over one complete cycle, over one complete cycle, then that is called over one complete cycle, then that is called as the average value. But since it is a sinusoidal wave, it is a sinusoidal wave, positive of is exactly equal to negative of. Positive of is ex exactly equal to negative of. So these kind of waves are called as the symmetrical waveforms. These kinds of waveforms are, co are called as symmetrical waveform. Symmetrical means positive of should be equal to the negative of then it is called as the symmetrical waveforms so in symmetrical waveform in case of this symmetrical waveforms symmetrical waveforms 
the sinusoidal current or voltage if the if you consider the current or voltage the positive of is exactly equal to the negative of so that the average value over one complete cycle if you consider the average value over one complete cycle is equal to zero right if you take the average value because you will have a positive of and negative half if you take the average value for complete cycle it will be zero for entire cycle one complete cycle it is zero so in the hence in this in this case what we do is we calculate the average value for only a half wave we calculate the average value only for a half wave we calculate the average value only for a half wave if we calculate average value for one complete cycle the average value will be zero so we calculate the average value only for the half wave only for half wave how we calculate this average value is obtained by adding all these instantaneous values or adding all these instantaneous values over the this half cycle period half cycle or if we integrate this all the values instantaneous values over half cycle you will get the average value for the half cycle so average value here is calculated for half wave only if you calculate the average value for one full complete cycle the average value will be zero because of the symmetrical nature of the sinusoidal waveform symmetrical nature of the sinusoidal waveform which which means the positive of and negative of both are equal so if you calculate the average value for half wave so again you need to calculate this average of half cycle how to do this again we have to integrate this half wave with respect to the uh, let us consider a small elementary strip small elementary strip the thickness of this here is d theta d theta and d theta so area of this strip so here we have the maximum value vm so area of this strip is given by area of this strip is given by so area of strip or area of this strip is given by v into d theta area of strip is given by v into if you differentiate the voltage waveform with respect to small strip i will get the uh, total area so average value is as i said it is obtained by integrating the half wave with respect to the uh, half wave with re, uh, integrating this half wave with respect to the base length of the base is 0 to 0 to 5 right here in this waveform if you see the length of the base is 0 to 5 0 to if you integrate this with respect to this base 0 to 5 you will get the average value so average value is equal to area under half cycle divided by length of the base length of the base is it is 5 so area under half cycle is calculated by integrating the uh, half cycle over uh, 0 to 5 the limits here are because we are considering only half cycle the limits are 0 to 5 so 0 to 5 integration of 0 to 5 v into d theta v into d theta here we are doing it for the voltage if you are asked to calculate for current it is i average okay we are doing it for the v average v average if you are asked to calculate for current it is i average so then uh, wherever we have v just replace it replace it by i so if you saw, we know v is equal to vm sin theta right for sinusoidal voltage v is equal to vm sin theta so limits are 0 to 5 vm sin theta into d theta divided by 5 so upon solving this equation vm is constant phi is constant take out vm and phi so integration of sin theta is minus cos theta we know right integration of sin theta is minus cos cos theta upon substituting the limits limits 0 to 5 limits 0 to 5 vm into uh, first we will substitute the uh, uh, phi so cos phi minus cos 0 cos phi minus cos 0 we have negative sign so let us take the uh, like negative sign outside we have vm minus 
cos 5 is minus 1 minus cos 0 is plus 1, right? So, this will be the total answer divided by 5 we have. So, this minus 1 and minus 1 will be minus 2, right? Minus 2 and this minus, both the minus will be minus into minus will become plus. So, finally, you will have 2 Vm by pi. Finally, your equation will be 2 Vm by pi. So, average value for a half cycle Average value for a half cycle is given by 2 Vm by pi or if you calculate the value of 2 by pi, 2 by pi is equal to 0 0.636, 2 by pi is equal to 0 0.636. So, average value for voltage is equal to 0 0.636 times of maximum value, 0 0.636 times of the maximum value where RMS value equal to uh, 0 0.707 times of the maximum value. So, you can observe here RMS value is greater than the average value. RMS value is greater than the average value. It is 0 0.707 times of the maximum value. Average value is 0 0.636 times of the maximum value. So, this is about the average value. Similar way, we can derive for the current also. So, I average equal to 2 IM by pi. It is 0 0.636 times of maximum current im so just now we have got the equation for uh, rms value average value right so these values you know, if you plot, uh, show it in the graph so this is a sinusoidal wave okay we have a sinusoidal wave so rms value is nothing but it is the 0 0.637 times of the peak value or maximum value, if you can represent by P, VP or PM, both are same, okay. So, average value is 0.63 times of the maximum value, RMS value is the 0.707 times of the maximum value or if you represent in terms of percentage, so average value is 63.7 percent of the maximum value, RMS value is 70 percent, 70.7 70 percent of the maximum value. So, this you need to remember. So, RMS value is greater than the average value. So, here you can observe one thing. These both the values, RMS value and average value, both are constant values. Both are constant, right? They are not variable. They are uh, always for any given uh, voltage wave or current wave, the maximum value, IM or VM, will be fixed maximum value will not be very so right so maximum value is a constant so constant multiplied with the constant again it is a constant value so rms value is a direct value even average value is a direct value so it is called as rms value is also called as it is dc equivalent of the alternating quantity it is a constant value it is like dc so this is about the RMS value and 